So I'm gonna show you one of the ways that you can cook salmon sous vide. There's you first start out with salmon that has the skin on it. And you're gonna get the filet and you're gonna cut it, cut this thin part off the filet. For the sous vide, you're gonna want the center cuts. You just wanna cut them as even as you can. So I would cut that. All right, now that we have the fish all cut up with the skin, we're gonna get some Ziploc bags. We're gonna use the water displacement method. You're gonna set your ANOVA up. Turn it on. You wanna grab the fish. And this is the time where you can add a little bit of olive oil to it. Since the fish is a delicate piece of meat, it really does help in receiving flavors, if you, especially if you put herbs in it. So I'm gonna use some thyme. And make sure that I keep the fish on separate sides. And the reason for that is that, because you want the water to be able to go around the entire fish. If these two fish were together, it wouldn't cook here correctly. So this way, it'll cook each piece of fish perfectly. And now we're gonna submerge it Keep this side here that has the finger above the water. You're gonna push down. The, the water will displace the air. And as you get close to this little tip right here where the zipper is, then you lock it. Make sure no water gets in it. This is the thing about sous vide. People like to make sous vide cooking complicated. It's, it's almost like a weird club that people are part of, that they try to keep everybody out. Just they try to make it seem that it's much more harder than it really is. So I set this at 122. Fahrenheit, which is 50 degrees Celsius, the fish will be tender and flaky. And I cook it for about 45 minutes or an hour, and then I take it out and I sear it. So if you like it a little bit more well done, then raise it up, do it at 130 or 131 Fahrenheit or 50 Celsius. Something that you're gonna need is a clamp. And the reason I use this is to make sure that the bags are not floating around and it also helps submerge them. We're gonna grab the fish and we're gonna make sure that it's not near the ports that pull in the water. This and put the clip on it. You see how this one bag is flipping up? You want it to be completely submerged, but if you're finding that it's it's floating up, you just wanna get something like a cup like this. You wanna put it in and put it in there like that. It'll help keep everything submerged under the water. All right, and one of the other tips I wanted to tell you about is the reason why I have this plastic container is that this container doesn't conduct any heat. So if you want to use like a pot that you have in your house, it's absolutely fine, but that pot is gonna get hot and you're gonna have a lot of heat loss. So it might take a little bit longer for you to cook whatever it is that you're cooking in there. If you're enjoying this and you learned something, please hit the like button, it really helps the channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and then also hit the bell. And when you hit the bell, click the all, because in that way you'll get notifications every single time I upload a video. Let's continue with the sous vide. With this fish, you can cool it down, serve it cold, serve it the way that it is, but I like to do a quick sear on it so that it gets some color and some texture. And I'm gonna share with you pans that I use, nonstick pans, and I keep them in the drawer, and I make sure that nothing metal touches this. Invest in some high heat spatulas. You can cook the salmon on there and you're not gonna be afraid of having it to stick. And the reason I leave the skin on it is that when it's cooked in the water bath, the skin actually helps the flesh of the fish stay together. The other thing is when you're sauteing it, saute it with the skin. And then if you enjoy the skin, you can leave it on. And then if you don't, once you're finished sauteing it, you can just take the, the skin off and it peels off very easily.